Hey everybody, I am Brooke and my shop is The Junk Parlor and I am looking super sexy again. So thank you for being here and watching. Make sure if you like what I talk about or show you, please subscribe and click like and leave me a comment. Yesterday I went to watch your flea market and that is literally the only flea market that I ever go to. It happens three times a year in Watch Year, Iowa. It's at the fairground. So they have hundreds of vendors uh, spread out throughout the fairgrounds. When I went yesterday, it ended up raining there the first probably three, two, three hours that I was there. Um, I was not dressed appropriately for that. I had tennis shoes on and you know, so my tennis shoes were getting wet. I didn't have my umbrella cause it was in my husband's truck from baseball. And uh, yeah, so it was interesting, but most of the vendors have all of their stuff tarped up when it's raining because they don't want it to get ruined. So I did a little bit of barn hopping and um, went to some of the tents, vendors of t that had good tents that had their stuff set up and uncovered so you could see it. So I did get some purchases in the middle of the rain, but when I was in one of the barns, I ran into one of my friends, Dory, at Junk Refunkery. And her and I have set up at many shows together. She still sets up at shows. However, I do not anymore. Um, and so now we don't see each other as much since I don't set up. I have seen her at Watch Here a few times. And we talk on social media. So all that to say, I run into Dory and it was kind of slow. I'd pretty much gone everywhere I could in the rain. So we were chatting and talking and I was just like, hey, Dory, you want to just walk around today together? And she's like, yes. So um, when I go junking, I normally like to go by myself. The reason being is I can set my own pace. I can go as fast or as slow as I want. Um, I don't have somebody there with me that is going to be looking for the same things as me. So I'm not seeing what they're grabbing before I'm grabbing type of thing. You know, I know there's dealers all over the flea market, but I don't ever know what they get or what they find, uh, or very rarely. And so it's not that we're there at the same time. Um, and just knowing different people, I know a lot of the dealers, um, that, shop there, sell there. And so I like to chit chat just a little bit with everybody. And I don't want people to feel like they have to stay around while I'm doing that. So for those reasons, I guess I normally like to go by myself. I'm a control freak type A personality. Hey, I know it. And I just have learned to embrace it. But I wasn't really in the mood to buy this time. Or not not buy just I wasn't really in the mood to, to shop. It's one of those things that I, I always laugh because I feel like every time it's a watch your flea market time, I am not in the mood. I feel like I have a thousand and one things to do at home for the business or at home or with the kids or whatever. And the, yesterday was no exception to that. Um, but it only happens three times a year. So I really want to go because it is a great time to find some great deals. My haul is teeny tiny. Um, one, because half the time I was there, it was raining. So there, I had to, I just went slow because there weren't very many places to look. Two, Dory and I talked pretty much the whole darn time. And three, I left a lot earlier than I normally would have um, because of that 1,001 things I needed to do at home. And so I had to come home and get some things done. Oh. So it was still worth it because getting to socialize is always a good thing. And I feel like just not even necessarily with COVID, but I feel like when you're in your early forties and your kids are busy and you work and with COVID, it's just like, you don't have that much time to socialize. I, if I have a free moment, my butt wants to be sitting on the couch, watching TV, vegging out, not, um, not getting ready and going out and socializing. In theory, it's a good idea, but then when it actually, the time comes, I just want to sit and do nothing in my own home. And I know that I'm not the only one like that. I'm sure some of you can relate to that. And I'm sure others of you are like, heck, I get the house, heck out of, heck out of the house. So anyway, so yesterday ended up being a perfect day for us to have a little girl date and talk a lot and look at stuff. 
So I'm going to show you what I found and then I'm going to show you some pictures um, from that I took at Watch Here of things I didn't buy but I thought were very neat. Um, Dory and I had a good time because, um, I mean because, because we got to talk to each other but also we were we were following around this dealer who we ended up finding out who she was. Well, not really who she was, but she has a shop in a town and sets up at some shows that we set up at. Anyway, we were somehow following her around and we weren't even taking a normal path uh, around watch here, like a logical path. So um, we, we ended up following her and the lady seriously bought everything that we would be interested in and we were like a minute too slow type of thing. And the thing that was the worst about it is that she would leave her piles at each booth so then we could see what she got. <laughs> oh boy, so we got a good chuckle out of that. Missed out on a couple things that were really awesome, but hey, that's how it is. Now, Dory asked me, when we were there shopping because I was there before her, what was my favorite find? And I'm now I'm gonna have to find it because she had never heard of this thing either. Oh, I put it back here. She had never heard of this either. This was my favorite find and it was literally in my very first booth that I shopped. I would not, this would not even have probably caught my eye typically but I was, uh, the day before or sometime this week, I was on Instagram and, um, a girl had, and I can't remember whose account it was. A girl had a butter pat. I can't remember if it was a single one or, or a stack, an ironstone butter, butter pat, just like a little, uh, white dish. And it had a little brown thing on it like this. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. That's so little. And she's like, it is a butter press for a butter pat. And I'm like, oh, that's so cute. And so what does Brooke find <laughs> in her first booth? A little butter pat. I mean, or not a butter pat, a little butter pat press. I mean, how freaking cute. Never even knew they existed. So I might have to hang on to that for just a little bit to enjoy it. And then I will sell it because I sell everything. Another thing that Dory and I discussed a lot is that I am all about buying and selling. I don't keep a lot of stuff. I um, love to buy it and then let somebody else enjoy it in their home. That's just me. So it was a very, very fun day. Um, okay, let's get started on some of the things that I got. So these skates were a steal. And I always laugh at this lady's booth because she has everything from like really expensive prices to really cheap prices. It's a very, very random. So the skates, I just happened to look and they were a good price. And then I have a good customer and she just bought one of these off of me, but she's wanting more and I just happened to find it. I don't think she really has a color preference. And she's also wanting bread pans because or bread boxes because they're basically the same size as those metal lunch boxes. So this one I think is going to be perfect as well. So I've sold her two. I found two yesterday. And so um, I'm excited to hear back from her and see if she wants those. Then we got the little butter pat. This little um, chopper, honestly, what attracted me is pink and blue. What's that make me think of? Baby shower, baby reveal. You could put this in a baby room. You could give it as a baby shower gift, even though it's a chopper. Um, but you could fill this with colored mints, vintage um, diaper pins. Um, you could do cotton balls in it. I just liked the colors, and so I grabbed that. And then I got this uh, mug holder. And Dory was really on the hunt for some fall things because she also does a box. She does uh, seasonal boxes. So she was on the hunt for some fall things. You can repurpose this and hang about a million different things from it. Anything that you collect could really go on a, on a mug holder. So we were really on the hunt for orange things with her um, that she could put in her boxes. I also do boxes, which I've talked about on here many times. I have mystery junk boxes where 
you can can order a box for three months, six months, it's, it, it's a subscription, and you complete a junk style survey that tells me what you like. Like, you're wanting anything for your kitchen, you love red things, you like number nine, you have uh, coffee tins, you want teapots, you want um, figurines, aluminum, hammered aluminum. I mean, whatever it is, you leave me a long list of things, and then I go out and I pick just for you. I also started doing theme boxes where, um, you know, I have a drop down menu and it gives you different options. So maybe you want a kitchen themed box. Maybe you want a um, repurposed crafters box. So you can just kind of pick from that drop down menu and then I gather stuff for you for that. Those make great, great Christmas presents, birthday presents, anniversary presents. I just had a girl in the shop and she's like, I need to buy a birthday present for so-and-so. I don't know what to get her. She's very hard to shop for. Well, get her a mystery junk box. Problem solved. So even though I bought this and, oh, it's pretty heavy. Um, it is definitely fall colors. I love this stack. And in case you've missed it, there is a peanut butter trash can that goes with this. And this girl has it. So. If you've been on the hunt for the peanut butter trash can, you need to message me. Can never go wrong with enamel. This has some green on it, my favorite color. And then this nice, heavy, um, I don't think it's called a beveled glass. It's, it's, it's a certain kind. It's all cut there. Um, this little tray would make a great riser um, or uh, something to set a cloche on. So I got that. And then these are heavy duty little maybe perfume bottles. And I say heavy duty because guess what? I had them in that metal pink bath, uh, uh, picnic basket and it, uh, fell out of my cart and dropped. And I was like, Oh great. Those things are going to be broken now that I just bought, but they weren't so heavy, thick glass. This is a very thick enamel little, uh, cup. We've got a little pan here. Those would make great wreaths. I got a couple little uh, irons. Super cute. You can always uh, put some command strips on them and hang them on the wall if you want. This biscuit cutter is always a good seller, so I happen to spot one of those. And then I randomly at a couple places, I found these cottage cheese containers which are just fun to set out if you have um, old advertising and stuff in your kitchen out on display. So I was excited for those. And after having like literally last week, I think I found 20 plus mashers. I only got two mashers uh, today or today, yesterday. And here is the other one. And this one is nice and tall, but it does not stand up. It is very rounded, but it would still look good um, leaning inside something. I really like wood cigar boxes and this white owl brand. I just, I love the coloring and the image of the owl. It's kind of a shallow, shallow one. Um, a copper pot here. Always looks good on the shelf. And then I was excited to find these little film canisters because they got green lids. I think I have two left um, and they both have yellow lids. And then we have this little mold like, I don't know, is it an acorn, an artichoke? Have to investigate a little bit on that. Little biscuit cutter, a codfish box. I really like old advertising. And then this, I just my mind i'm dirty sometimes and so we have this little quickie hand cleaner tin thought that was fun and then kind of a fall theme again we've got this thermos and it's either ombre or it bleached out or something to get rid of some of that burgundy always grabbing some oil cans i've got a good buyer for those and this brass pig i just thought was super fun I married together this lid with the pot. It was just like in a pile of junk and it just happened to fit. Um, I doubt it went together, but this little teapot, then we have this one. 
and if you've been following me on Facebook especially, you probably have noticed that I have a little percolator collection going. This one is a glass percolator inset. Now how crazy is that? So, and I might, might have a little, it's a silver piece with a glass would go on the inside of this and I might have one that fits. So I need to dig out of my stash and see if I do. I like this little um, hen pot holder. Bowers Mint Tin always sells well. It's a great color. And then these, I think, my helper uh, Clarissa has decided that they're cardboard, but they're they're pretty sturdy. So it's not paper mache. We don't think it's got some good weight to it, and, and I'm not sure if that's just because it's the base. But you can see it's been made with a form. But there's two little bunnies. I think they're awesome. And then this cow, I'm excited to kind of research it. There, There is a hole on its belly, but there are no other holes. Like normally these are creamers or something, or salt and pepper shakers. But this one I think is just a figurine. And then these go over a railing somehow, clip over, and then you can put like a candle or a terracotta pot. Um, but I thought they were super cute. And what's the bonus? They are green. And then I got this in a little junk pile and I didn't realize there was not a wheel, but um, I do think that I might have something that's gonna be close in my junk stash that I could marry on to that and make it a pretty decent wheel. This rolling pin, is a small one. I don't think it's a kid one. It's actually made out of one piece of wood. So I really like that. It has some like decent weight to it. I don't think this is a Tom Thumb. It might be, but someone has added all these like sticker embellishments. Um, this is ET. So I'm gonna clean that up and kind of see how, how it looks. I could not get the door open or drawer open when I was uh, at the shop and messing with it, but we'll see now that I'm back home and have some tools. Got this little uh, brush or broom. That would be great for laundry room, mud room, Halloween. And then we have this little bamboo trike. Um, it, it's got some, I don't even know, discoloration on it where the outer layer of the bamboo is gone. I might paint it, might leave it, not sure. This is new. Um, but I absolutely loved the coloring on it. So you could hang it on the wall like a shelf, or you could turn it over and just use it as a piece of architectural salvage. You could also even lay it flat and have it be like a bookend if you wanted to as well. And then this basket is awesome. It's like a cauldron style, um, but a basket. Awesome. We have a leaf tree or leaf tree, leaf tray. And Dory actually got some of those as well. And then Dory and I were also inspecting some suitcases and I ended up getting this one. Um, the inside is not bad. Um, I cannot smell cause of COVID or barely can smell. Um, it doesn't look perfect or anything, but I actually need a suitcase. I think I just needed one suitcase to do uh, for side tables in our bedroom. Right now, what I have been using is a uh, trunk and then have a suitcase on top of it. And then the other suitcase I brought out here to the shop, but I'd like to do the three suitcases. So I'm hoping it marries together the right size and stuff. Then we have this copper um, pan. I'm drawing a blank now, it, something with eggs. We've got this sock darner that has some like mildew residue on it. So we'll see how it cleans up. I love using orange glow. I love it. Hog scraper. Uh, the school supplies, the crayon uh, tin. 
it's in really good condition. I like the coloring, and again, it's probably going to go in one of my mystery junk boxes. We have this little candle um, holder for your Christmas tree. And then I have a nice shovel. This one's a pretty big one that would have gone with some kind of old pail. I think I have all the pails that I have left have shovels that go with them. Now I got tons of garden tools. I love them and everyone loves them. So a lot of these are claws or forks or have good color because those seem to be a little bit more uh, hot hot commodity. That one has a broken finger, so it almost, to me, like, is like it's giving you the finger, even though that part's broken. So, good finds on my garden tools. And then I got this ice pick with some chippy green on it. We got this handmade um, cigar tin. It looks like somebody's all like, already polyurethaned it, although it didn't have a lid. That doesn't bother me. Um, these little covered wire pipe cleaners gives you some ideas on what to do with them in the back. I really liked those. This kind of looks like a trophy. So our little brass goblet there. And then I got a ton of flower frogs. Love, love, love sticking things in them, showing off some ephemera. And then I'm not sure if these are butter pats or if they're just little kid um, plates because little kid tea sets are very similar size. None of these are iron stone. They're all like porcelain or something. They're very lightweight, but uh, super cute. And then we got this tea infuser. Infusers have been selling well for me. And then I got uh, just like a bag of some metal stamps. These are a nice size, good numbers. We got the seven. And then I got some smaller thing, smaller ones. This one is a shamrock. And then we've got a few letters here. And grabbed some more. Um, door stoppers. You could screw these into a board and use them as a coat hook or like hang a picture from them. Um, that used to be popular to just, I think they just put it in the drywall or plaster. I don't even think they um, put it in a board or anything. And then we have this red metal kids ironing board. The shape of these make a great Christmas tree also. So you can decorate it like a Christmas tree with some of your vintage um, ornaments. Got this uh, Lake County, California crate, just simply for the advertising. Good if you have a cabin or a shed. We have three big lakes down here where I am. And then check out this little kid drying rack. So cute. This would look so cute on a tabletop. You could put your linens, a uh, tablecloth collection. Um, got lots of options on that. And then this windmill was for sale. These look great hanging on the wall, even though it doesn't have its whole, you know, stand from outside. And then at a different booth, I got this tail. Um, one of my friends, Janine at Acquisitions, uh, her shop, she took a full size one and she has it at, at as her open sign. It says open. And the shape of this is kind of like an arrow, you know, open. Um, so that looks really cute. So I was just thinking even something fun with this. You could also hang this off the wall and hang a, a wooden sign down from it. I got another recipe box. It's a green metal. I just like those for whatever reason. We got a few ironstone plates. great um, discoloring and patina. This one's kind of like a shallow bowl. And then I got two of these silver wine or champagne uh, buckets. So we got this SB uh, Smith cough drop tin. We got a full size butter press. 
and I love this one. It just like raw wood lately has just um, been appealing. And then we've got some enamel colanders. This one's fun and different, I think. This one's got a great color and also has a base to it. And our gray one has a base as well. So I was super excited about those. And then here is that other champagne bucket. And then I have a girl looking for some uh, handheld mirrors. So I got two of those. And I think that that is it. So that's what I got at Watch Here. So I'm going to show you in this next picture. <laughs> Um, it makes me think of a meme or something somebody would put on TikTok because here I am trying to be all cute and stylish and put my arm out, you know, um, and uh, it looks terrible. And so it turns out it's a dentist chair. I asked the guy before I sat down, like, is it okay if I sit in this? And he's like, yes. He's, I'm like, I might exceed the weight limit on it. And he's like, oh, it weighs like 300 pounds. And I'm like, okay. Um, but it was big and um, heavy duty. So that was a fun thing. And then this little green um, buggy was super cute. I think it was 175, but very, very unique. And then I love little wagons. This one was out of my price range to buy and resell, but I don't think I've ever seen a blue one. But I do love the smaller size because it will go great just on your table um, in this, as your centerpiece. This one was super cute. And there was so much like retro stuff there. It doesn't really sell well for me, so I have tried to train, uh, train myself to stop buying it. But these suitcases were super cute, little small petite things, great color. I really wanted to buy them. Oh, you know me and scales and the color green. This scale, I think it was a little bit over $500. It was dated, now I'm going to forget what it said, 19, early 1900s. Um, but it was absolutely gorgeous and absolutely ginormous. So there's some looks around Watch Your Flea Market. Um, here is a little video that I did um, live on Instagram during the day when Dory and I were shopping. Hey everybody, it's Brooke with the Junk Parlor and my hair is super funky. It's like looking in the mirror for the first time. Um, we are at Watch Your Flea Market in Watch Your, Iowa and it started out raining and now it is um, a little bit warm. Dory just uh, took off her jacket. And we are having a great day. Um, Watch Here is open today for early bird and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, I did a little live video over on Facebook if you want to go check that out for some more booths. Um, what else do we want to talk about, Dory? I don't know. <laughs> We've had a good time chit-chatting. <laughs> and I also... I also I can share. I also laugh because... I normally like to shop by myself because oh. I don't want to have to fight someone that's buying the same things so I am. So we're arm wrestling for it. So, uh, yeah. So it's been... Yeah. All right. So here we go. We've got the gentleman back here in the reclining chair, which I need um, because those are super comfortable for ball games. <laughs> and, of course, Dory finds something dirty. <laughs> um, so here. We are finding some treasures. That's cute. 1936 Music Club. But Watch Here is full of everything. We've got somebody loading up, it looks like. We got some holes right here, but this is at the Watchy, Watchy, Watch Here um, County Fair. And they set the flea market up here three times a year. And it is full of awesomeness and always some cute pets. It's 
a really good flea market and a great one to go to if you want to sell stuff, if you want to buy stuff, or if you just want to meet friends. So remember, if you liked what you saw, make sure to click like, subscribe, and um, I'll see you next time.